All right. Good to see you all here, as always. Honestly, I just want to see what's up with the pyramids. Hopefully, this reveal is um, is meaty. We've got some good content. I want a big, expensive expansion. <laughs> and from what it seems, it could be like we're getting almost Destiny 3 in a DLC. You, got, you guys know me very well. It's pretty much the only thing I talk about in the videos. It's the main thing that interests me. The second you talk about pyramids, you got my attention. What in the world? Ooh, 2021? Hang on. Even if it's the wrong side. Yo, what? I don't even know where to begin with that. Um, my mind is blown. So no Destiny 3. <laughs> so 2021, The Witch Queen. 2022, it seems like they've almost split Destiny 3 into three different years. They've split Destiny 3 into three pieces coming this year, next year, and the year after. Destiny 3 is <laughs> no longer a thing. <laughs> they did talk about it was interesting he did mention how the game is the game is full, which was the main reason why we all thought there would be a Destiny 3, because the game is getting, he said it's up 115 gigs. So they are gonna do as we thought. They are literally going to just remove stuff from the game. So Destiny 2 is here to stay, and they're basically taking the Destiny, whatever they had worked on Destiny 3, because like I said, Destiny 3 was in development. They had made a lot of content, and Luke even said here that Europa was planned for Destiny 1, which I had mentioned many times in recent videos. So they're basically going to be rotating, as we expected, they're going to be rotating stuff out of the game. So they're going to be removing planets and also adding in Destiny 1 content. The Cosmodrome this fall, Vault of Glass sometime next year in year 4, probably next spring maybe. But Vault of Glass is coming, and I'm sure they're going to do the other raids as well. So Destiny 2 is about to become this kind of just the main hub. Destiny 2 is definitely going to be here for a while. He even said they have no plan, they, they don't want to start again. They don't want to make a new game. And Bungie is in no capacity to start again and make a new game anyway. So it does make sense. They've essentially axed Destiny 3 and are putting everything they had made or planned into Destiny 2 in yearly installments. And every fall, there's going to be a big expansion, which is promising because it means there'll be no more, you know, like Rise of Iron and Shadowkeep sized DLCs, which are small DLCs and their reskinned areas. But this this year we're getting I mean, it sounds good if we if we get a big if we get a big expansion with a whole new location every year, like if we get a Forsaken sized DLC every year, that's promising. The Drifter, the Stranger and Eris <laughs> on Europa with a pyramid. That's the inside of the pyramid. So the pyramid might be a will probably be a playable destination because we had so many questions about what they're going to do with all it. Like literally before the stream, I was saying how they've got so many storylines open. There's so much confusion. There's all these characters and they're literally doing it in three different expansions. Wow. I think the main takeaway is that Destiny 3 is not happening, which is interesting. It's been split. Also, what is this? What's the deal with her ghost? <laughs> what is, is that a fish? What is that? That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Mini Riven? It does kind of look like it might be a baby Ahamkara or a little robot. And Luke even joked about how he said in an interview that, that the stranger storyline is done or that he thought it was done, but obviously the community reacted and said, we don't think it's done at all. So this is his response to it of them being like, okay, you guys want more stranger, here's the stranger. Aldrin is one of the few things that we didn't really see. I think Aldrin might be in maybe Witch Queen. I'd assume that whole Awoken Dreaming City will be done together. So Aldrin, would pro Aldrin and the Queen would probably be 2021 in Witch Queen. Lightfall. Destiny 2 Lightfall in 2022. When the pyramids attack the tower. It looks like 2022 is when they did plan destiny 3 like 20 th this lightfall is what looks like destiny 3 was originally going to be which is the darkness pyramids actually arriving but it seems like i've said they've split destiny 3 into three different parts taken destiny 3 and taken europa out of it and then plopped that this year so we're getting europa this fall savathun is next year with witch queen what would be the main bulk of the destiny 3 kind of content of again the, the second collapse 2022 interesting so you got the traveler and a pyramid in front of it so i don't think destiny 3 is ever going to be a thing destiny 3 is not launching in 2022 in 2023 or four or five or six like he said clearly they do not want to start again they don't want to make a whole new game and that makes sense why they would break from activision because activision would obviously want multiple um multiple games to release constantly the good thing about the season of the arrival is that it's not a random spin-off it's not just a, a relevant uh, little side story of destiny it's actually relevant directly to 
the expansion. It's going to lead directly into it. So it's almost like a teaser. Pyramids are showing up, but just the tip. Pretty much. The pyramids are just going to show up and just chill in the skyboxes for like two years until they finally do something. So that's Mars. That's what the Mars... Well, there's actually little tiny pyramids as well. That's one weird thing about the sizes. There are little tiny pyramids and the big ones. So they all this size. And what are these ones? Little carrier ships? Little mini ones, I guess? Transport ships? And then Titan, big pyramid. And that is Io, big pyramid. And of course, the pyramid on Europa as well. So much in... We've had zero information and now they've just dropped all this on us. I'm just like, what? But it's good though. It's good. Like overall, I'm very, very impressed with this. Very impressed. So this is almost the best way for them to deliver Destiny 3 content in Destiny 2. And like I said, the way they're going to handle it is by pretty much removing stuff from D2. So they're going to delete some planets. They're going to remove activities. He said the content that's played least, they're basically going to rotate it out. And also they're going to add in Destiny 1 content. So Vault of Glass. And that's another kind of new exotic. Oh yeah, look, there's a pyramid in the background. Wow. That's Mercury. Huge pyramid. But yeah, 60 FPS 4K on next gen. Not the same, but it's going to be up to the up to the standard of quality graphics that PC have. Cold Heart element changing. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, Cold Heart would um Cold Heart, I would imagine, would change element. Io, Titan, Mercury, Mars, and Leviathan. They're all gone. So I guess those are all the all the all the places the pyramid showed up. So Io's gone. Rest in peace, Io. Titan, which we all kind of saw coming. Mercury, which isn't surprising at all and mars which is kind of a shame i like mars mars is really cool so this is this is the new map for year four you've got gambit crucible vanguard tower and then you've got earth with edz or cosmodrome you got nessus and then europa is the new one entangled shore and dreaming city i mean these two i guess it makes sense because these two are obviously going to be tied into the witch queen yeah curse of cyrus and warmind are out of here <laughs> literally all the strikes from io titan they're all going to be gone too pyramidian all the strikes on all of those locations are going away that's pretty weird i mean it's a lot of content there's some good strikes all the titan strikes gambit and gambit primer being merged into a single mode so this is pretty much what we're looking at here. This is essentially Destiny 3 split into three different expansions. I mean, it's clever. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think all of us were saying that we wanted to see, you know, Destiny 3 sooner than later. And this is this is the realistically a pretty smart way for Bungie to bring it all in. I feel like Beyond Light and Lightfall are the main Destiny 3 kind of piece of content. But the Witch Queen, we kind of know like that's going to be Sabathun, Aldrin, the Dreaming City. That's why they're keeping the Dreaming City and those in the director, because of course, the, the following year it's going to be relevant. It's going to lead up to it. Yeah, the Tribute Hall, that really sucks. The Tribute Hall, it's a firing range. It's, it's like an essential part of the game. We move the tribute hall to the tower or something. We need the tribute hall. I mean, I'm, I mean, they're getting rid of the planets. I wonder how they're going to explain it. Like, I mean, I, I, they're not just going to destroy the planets and completely get rid of them, but something's going to happen. Maybe they deploy some kind of force field or something, and the planets are uninhabitable. I would guess that they're going to bring Saturn in, and they're going to bring the dreadnought as well. I think the dreadnought's going to play into it. I get the feeling the dreadnought's going to be like. Maybe we'll get to pilot it or use it because the Dreadnought's got a massive super weapon that this thing. I could see a day where we use that to maybe kill Savathun or some pyramids or something. But yeah, so Saturn's gone. But I'm pretty sure they'll bring back Saturn with Titan and probably the Dreadnought as well. Imagine if we had like two hour long movies. Imagine if like once a year they made like a movie and there was a bunch of lore and they just did something of this quality. But for like two hours long of just watching the stranger do stuff. How cool would that be? And yeah, Deepstone Crypt is... Basically, the Clovis Bray secret station where they make Exos, where they make the Exo robots. So the Exo Stranger is definitely relevant to this. Yeah, so next-gen consoles are getting 60 FPS 4K. And if you own Destiny 2 or any expansions, it just gets transferred over, which makes sense because the game is free to play. So you can't recharge people again. But uh, I mean, they could potentially. They could definitely get away with it. Many companies do, and it's a boatload of money. But um completely free so if you own destiny 2 on xbox or ps4 then the next gen consoles it just updates in instantly how are you guys feeling out of 10 give me a give me an out of 10 score about the reveal in general what out of 10 are you feeling 11 8 he's some very high scores six very high scores you guys seem impressed this is good a lot of tens more public events yep 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 i mean that's not a surprise of the season i i, I was not expecting anything less than from the season itself but at least it's it's tied into the fall expansion. It's a bit more interesting than just kind of random stuff like it's darkness related. At least it's pyramids and stuff. So it's 
a lot more interesting, I think. Yeah, once again, appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you're staying safe and happy and doing well. I'll see you guys very soon in some videos and streams. Thanks for watching.